today we're going to ditch these uh, factory sway bars, sway bar links, and uh, make some quick disconnect. I've been living without quick disconnects on my Jeep, and I can take my sway bar links off in about four minutes, I think. We, we had a speed test one day. <laughs> I think four minutes was the fastest I ever done it. Usually I'll say 10 minutes on a normal day, which is not bad. I, I pop on my uh, JT Brooks tire deflators and then I take the sway bar links off. And the whole time I'm doing that, I'm just chatting with people too, but. All right, so here's what I got from McMaster's. I got four of these uh, ball joints. For a half inch by 20 pitch threads and I got a pack of five or no ten ten nuts and then a two foot threaded rod now the I only need a foot but uh, it was two dollars and change more for two foot so I figured I'd get two foot and make sure I have way more than I need and uh, this is part number for the ball joints. And that's that. And they sell them in metric sizes, but I got one with the standard because I'm American. I get American stuff. And you're also gonna need one of these, or two of these. I had these laying around from, uh, I got from the junkyard off of a set. So I had, had this already. If not, you can make some out of angle iron or just a piece of steel and bend it. But I have it so I don't have to make it. All together, four of these, four of these ball joint ends, uh, five nuts and the threaded rod cost me like 40 bucks. I know a little bit pricey for what it is, but it got delivered so I didn't have to go hunt it. And I, when I'm done, if it works out great, I'll be in it less than a good pair of uh, disconnects just a little bit of elbow grease but it'll be handcrafted and fine-tuned to my certain vehicle so yeah it's got to count for something so the first part is is to get the old uh, link off all right so here it is this is really very short length. It's almost the length of these two things together. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. Although it's... So uh, now I just got to cut a little piece of rod to hold these two together. Screw in there. Be back in a sec. Here's a helpful hint when cutting this. I just got a scrap piece of wood clamped on both ends. And before you cut it, thread a nut on there. When you cut the, I got a nut over here too. When you cut it, just run the thread off of it and that'll re and that will repair the threads. When you booger them up with the smozzle. All right, so I had to charge up the camera so you didn't miss much. So I got this on both sides and everything's just hand tight. I haven't dogged it anything down yet. This has just a little bit of play. That just has just a little bit of play in that bolt. So I, I think I'm going to press this out. And I made this out of some of the half inch I have. So I'm just going to bolt that on there and then I could adjust it. So whichever, to whichever length I need and cut the excess off, drilling the hole in that by hand was doable, but kind of a pain in the butt, but I managed it. So uh, I've beaten these out with a hammer before. Sometimes it bends this, sometimes it don't. But uh, I'm gonna try a ball joint press. So let me just get all this stuff out of the way. Ah. 
Ah, oh, perfect. That is perfect. There you have it in all its sexiness. Uh, about 50 bucks and about three hours worth of work. Uh, uh, I ended up putting the bushing that I had on the top of the sway bar link on the inside, just to kind of, it, it slopped back and forth a little bit. I don't know if that would hurt anything, but it uh, sure as heck didn't help anything. So I just put a bushing in there and the bushing down there and that holds it nice and straight. Try to do this one hand without making it too jittery, too lazy to get a tripod. Let's pull the pin, and out it comes. And I'm just gonna bungee it up here to this, and I got that little hole from that bracket there. I think I'm just gonna use that as opposed to making some type of uh, holder for it. And getting it on is a little bit trickier. You gotta wiggle it up and down. You kinda need two hands for it. That's it. Bumper's in the way. Bumper. Uh, I will say I used everything with grade eight hardware, nuts and bolts, lock washers, and blue Loctite on everything. Grease fitting took a uh, three pumps and it squirted out here. And it also squirted out the end. So I imagine the whole thing is just Fill. So put it together before you fill it with grease. Don't try to grease it before you thread it all together or else the grease is just going to go anywhere. Learn from my mistakes. Alright, so I've got kind of a custom sway bar set up because my Jeep has been smashed in the front. So nothing on it straight. Uh, my sway bar bracket usually mounts about here and that puts it into my coil spring so I had to move it forward I had to move it forward and then down to get it at the nice 90 degree angle and give me at least an inch and a half clearance from my spring and that made my sway bar links kind of funky uh, there was no kit that I could find that would that really suit my needs so I uh, had to make some I will say by leaving this bolt long and taking the slack out on this end uh, worked out great because now I can cut this off and I fine-tuned it to a spot where my sway bar is pretty much up and down and there's not a lot of bolt in front of it and the washer worked out great. Can you tell I cleaned up in here? I got organized everything. If you need some sway bar links or even some quick disconnect sway bar links do it yourself they're easy to do Fifth, half the price of the kits and it's already you know tailored custom fit to your vehicle uh, you could make them not quite as fast disconnects instead of putting the pin in the bolt just put a nut on the end and that's why you only gotta do one nut take it off if you don't if you don't have the means to drill a hole through a bolt. All right, so you got some time to kill and want something custom that you do yourself. Uh, get, try making your sway bar disconnects yourself. You can buy a kit for just slightly more than what I paid for it. All, all the engineering's already done. But I like to do things myself. Plus, my vehicle's been, it's, it's a one of a kind. Nothing fits on it, so I got to custom do everything. All right, thanks for watching. Like what you see, hit the thumbs up. Don't like what you see, hit the thumbs down. But you're not going to do that because you're cool. I right, got time to kill. Check out some of my other videos. Got lots of videos about lots of stuff. Nothing. A bunch of videos about nothing really, but they're entertaining. At least they are to me. I enjoy making them. I hope you enjoy watching them. 
you really want to waste some time, you can check out my podcast, the 10-Minute Off-Road Podcast, which is on Podbean, Apple Podcast, and Google Play. And you can catch it on YouTube. It's got its own YouTube channel. I like watching it on YouTube because I put videos of me wheeling. And when I run out of videos of me wheeling, I borrow videos. All right. Thanks for watching. You keep it cool. Did that work? I've seen people do it all the time. I don't know if that works.